Which back brace is better, the DDS 300 or the G2? Both of these braces are fairly similar models for degenerative disc disease, herniated discs, sciatica, and they're made by Disc Disease Solutions is the company. Um, this one, the DDS 300, was the original model. This is a newer, up-to-date version, but there are some differences between the two. For the most part, they're both good braces and they help unload your spine. I've done individual review videos on each of these that you can check out separately, but you'll notice that a lot of the features of the two videos are pretty much the same, that both of these braces are different than regular back braces in that they don't just compress around you this way and squeeze in that way. They help unload the effect of gravity, where gravity is pressing down on your spine all day long, and essentially they expand vertically to help relieve some of that compression. And that compression can affect a lot of different types of back pain, particularly disc problems, which usually feel worse when you're in a weight-bearing position and not as bad when you're in a non-weight-bearing position, or things like degenerative disc disease or spinal stenosis or sciatica, where when gravity is pressing down on you, it kind of pinches on the nerve roots. And when you're laying down or at least sitting with the spaces where the nerve roots come out of your back, you don't feel as bad. Those are things that this type of back brace could be good for. Now, neither of these back braces is going to completely relieve your pain. You're still probably going to need to do some physical therapy or some other treatments for it to help address the underlying problems and give you some longer term relief. But both of these can be good to help you stand and walk and do weight bearing activities for a longer period while you're addressing the root cause of the problem. So if we take a look at the two braces, this is the DDS 300. And you'll see here, if we hold it out this way, that it's kind of tapered from the back coming along the side. It gets a little bit narrower going down from side to side. And if you look at the G2, it's pretty much the same length throughout, or the same thickness throughout from the back to the sides. It actually gets a little bit thicker here on the sides. And then it has a Velcro strap in front where it gets very narrow when you fasten them together. So I'll put both braces on just so you can see and compare one to the other. Again, the underlying effects of both of them are pretty much the same, that they both are made to unload your spine. So you put them on right underneath uh, your rib cage and right above the pelvis like that. Strap it on that way, tighten the Velcro strap. And there's a little valve right here. You, the pump that you use for both of them, it's interchangeable, so you can use the same pump on either brace. You want to make sure the valve is tightened here so it'll hold the air in. You just clip the pump on, and then you pump it up. And you can see that the brace expands vertically this way. And this one's the DDS 300. And it kind of separates between the pelvis and the rib cage. Because it does have a little bit more of that contoured shape, it's good for shorter people like me who have not as much space between the rib cage and the pelvis. So that contour does kind of help to wedge it in there a little bit better. And that's actually a little overinflated. Um, I pumped it up a little bit past where it typically should be. So we'll take this off. And you can let a little bit of air out just by turning the valve like that. But I'm going to let it all out. And then put on the other one. So this is the DDS 300. This is the original one, kind of the uh, OG of the, their models. It's been more well tested. This newer one, um, it's actually a little bit less expensive. I think they've tried to make it a little bit more accessible so that more people can buy it but that does come with you know you to some extent get what you pay for so um this one i actually feel like it, it is not that much lower of a quality so i don't know where they're saving in price or whether there's just less profit margin on it but it is a little less expensive i lost the valve i think i'm going to have this one on up hold on yep 
So you'll see this Velcro piece in here. It can be adjustable for a number of different sizes of people. Both of these come in various different sizes, but within a size, this one has a little bit more adjustability because of this expansion piece in the center. This is a little bit thicker along the sides like I showed before. So if you have sort of a smaller torso or a shorter torso, this one may not necessarily be as good of an option, but conversely for taller people, this may be a little bit better for you if you have more space between the pelvis and the rib cage. Um, and again, you could share it with a number of different family members. If say you and a spouse um, both have problems and you both want to use it, but you're slightly different sizes, this one has a little bit more variab variability um, between different sizes. So you clip the pump on, again, the same pump works for both of them and pump it up. Now you can hear a little leak there. That means I didn't have the valve closed completely. So you pump it up like that. Again, you can kind of see that the air columns expand vertically and pump the brace. And again, for me, because I'm a little shorter, I feel like this is sliding up under my rib cage or over top of my rib cage. So I don't feel like I personally get as much uh, lift out of that, but that may just be to my size. Now, I overinflated the other one a little bit. Ideally, you want it to be in the green range on this pump. And then when you get it in that green range, then you just disconnect the valve. And if you've got the valve shut appropriately, it should hold the air in and lift you up so that you can walk around and move and do the weight bearing activities that you wanna do a little bit more comfortably. So that's the G2 and the DDS 300. Um, both of them, like I said, are made by the same company. They have roughly the same principle and both of them are better, I think, than just braces that go around and compress that way. Um, again, just as a reminder, they're not a long-term solution. They're not gonna completely fix your problem. So if you are looking for a longer term solution to your problem, see a physical therapist near you. If you happen to be in St. Louis, I own a clinic in St. Louis called More for Life. Just uh, give us a call and we'd be happy to help you out. And no matter where that you're watching this from, if you did find this video helpful and it helps you to figure out which back brace you think may be better for you, give the video a like and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified of our future videos. And also if you are looking to purchase either one of these, you can go to the DDS website. I'll put the link here below. And if you use the code DRCANDY10, DRCANDY10, you can save 10% on your order. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day.